perfection, often chased, rarely attained, until now. Brought to you from the legendary custom shop of Gib- Wait, what? Oh man, I'm definitely getting sued. Welcome back, guitar friends. My name is Mike, and today we have an Eastman SB55 double cut and varnish, and this just might be the perfect guitar. Just realized that I have my Promise filter on my camera, which I'm gonna look real dreamy. I wasn't familiar with Eastman at all until about, I'd say a year ago, um, and I've just wanted to get my hands on one since then. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. They did not send me this. Uh, this is just 100% my own personal view on it. Eastman was started in the early 90s uh, by a guy named Kian, Kian, I'm sorry, I'm probably mispronouncing your name. I'm an American, I can't say things. He had just graduated from Boston University School of Music and he decided to start his own company. And the Eastman factory in Beijing has been turning out hand-built instruments ever since. All right, really quickly, let's just dive into the specs and like the end of any good date, we'll start at the neck, work our way down. The neck is one piece Okume mahogany. It has Faber tuners, a bone nut, and an ebony uh, fingerboard at, with a 12 inch radius. It's got medium jumbo frets. The body, again, is a one-piece Okume mahogany. It has a Lawler 50s spec uh, dog ear P90 that just sounds amazing. It's got a Faber wraparound bridge that's intonated, volume and tone, a super simple, super beautiful instrument. Now, for those of you on Instagram, the IG, the gram, as the cool kids say, uh, I do post uh, more guitar photos, behind the scenes stuff, some playing, whatnot. If you're into that, uh, you can, I'll put something on the screen. Okay, let's just get into the reasons why I think this is honestly about as perfect of a guitar as you can get. And number one is the feel. And I really mean like the tactile feel of the instrument, the varnish that they hand rub. Um, it's, like an, it's like what they use on violins, uh, but they hand rub this varnish over and over and over onto this instrument and it feels, it's really, really smooth and it feels soft. And I know that doesn't make any kind of sense. It's like, um, like if velvet was solid. That's the only way I can think to describe it. It is like soft and smooth and just like so amazing to just put your hands on. It's unlike anything I've ever felt. It's not like a nitro. It's just like this beautiful, soft, whatever. And I know the whole nitro, you know, poly finishes, all this stuff where the wood breathes and blooms more. I don't know if I buy into any of that stuff, but I do know that the actual sensation of holding this guitar and playing it is phenomenal. Number two is the build quality, and it is, it's unbelievable. I can't believe that, like how skilled you have to be to just use hand tools to make something this precise and incredible is totally beyond me. I mean, everything about this guitar, the details, the fit and finish, like just everything about it, like even like the dot spacing, it's just so precise, and people do this by hand. The frets are just absolutely perfect. Um, they're flush, they're well-rounded, they're nice and fun to play. You know, just even where the fingerboard meets the neck, it is a, per it's perfect. You cannot feel it. It's so incredible. And I know I'm kind of gushing about this, but again, like this is not sponsored. This isn't a paid review, none of that stuff. This is just an incredible, incredible instrument. Number three is the sound. Now, whether it's plugged in or not, It just has an incredible sound. That Lawler P90 in there, uh, I am a, I am an official convert. Thank you. 
Number four, let's talk about price, which is a little bit confusing on this guitar, to be honest. So on the Eastman website, the suggested retail is like 1,500-ish. Uh, you can find them online, new anywhere from like 1150 to 1600. Uh, it's kind of all over. Now I hear people all the time say like, well, for that price, why don't you just get an American made, a real Gibson? Uh, because they're not even close. This is not like a production line Gibson guitar. This is a custom shop instrument. And I've had the amazing pleasure of getting my hands on a custom shop double cut from Gibson. And they're like four grand, 3,800, something like that. You can get three of these guitars for what a custom shop Gibson is. So when I compare this to my Les Paul Special, and this is not a Gibson bashing video, I own three of them, I love them. I've made plenty of videos where I'm fawning all over Gibson. Uh, this guitar is dramatically better than my Les Paul Special. It just, it just is. If you are interested in a comparison video between this Eastman and my Les Paul Special, subscribe, stick around, come back, whatever you wanna do. Uh, I'm gonna be releasing one of those hopefully in the next week. Until then, go play guitar.